on today's little escapade video. <laughs> so I had to get groceries and I love a store called Aldi. Here in Texas, we have a few. So how do you think I did? So here's a look at what I actually had in the cart. At checkout is when my anxiety always just hits a hundred. In my mind, I know that I've added up and figured in for taxes and all, but when I actually get up there, the number that shows up on the screen, building and building, makes me nervous for some reason. I kind of felt like I was going to get closer to the 70s, which was very scary for me because for this, you know, next two weeks, my food um, budget was <laughs> close to $100. It's very hard to keep up with everything, especially on a one income family. Um, so I'm still trying to look for a job, but until then, to be more cost effective, there's corners that I can cut. One of the big things that I always used to do was if we don't have a deal, we don't do it. If I can't get a coupon or a two for one or something like that, I just wouldn't go. If it was an event that I felt like, you know, I didn't have money to invest in, I just wouldn't do it. I will say living in a larger city has definitely helped that. There's so many free programs. There's a bunch of like activities in the park, concerts. I mean, Houston is awesome about trying to have the arts reach our community as well. Anyway, <laughs> back on topic, <laughs> the ADHD squirrelism is real. Um, so I came to Aldi today to get groceries. I was able to purchase everything you saw in the cart for like $55. Or well, I have actually see. It was $56.53. And the most expensive thing that I ended up buying was the chicken. So the chicken, um, I got leg meat portions. I'm going to make a gumbo for the family. And so I needed the bigger pack. And it was $8.30. So it still wasn't that bad. Um, yeah, everything else was under like 5 bucks. And I really honestly love Aldi because they always have some weird stuff too. So last year after Day of the Dead, I found uh, some really cool little planters. And this year, he's got purple eyes and a mustache. None of them last year had mustaches. So I think I did pretty well. I will try and remember, but I probably won't update with the recipes that I make this week. 